Hello all and welcome to our course Primavera P6, the advanced course that will cover a complete schedule for a bridge from A to Z. Uh, last lectures we have talked about how to create the WBS, uh, import the activity from Excel and you do the ties. And today we'll talk about important topics like terminology in planning or scheduling or PMP, whatever. Planning stage, that happened before you start any scheduling work, when you define project scope, uh, create a section for the project, and identify the WBS and the resources. Create activities. Activities means what? Smaller pieces of work. When you divide your WBS by the way foundations, you divide it into form work and uh, placing rebars, steel, uh, pouring concrete, this is means activities task milestones those are zero durations and are important uh, event in your project like when you finish your concrete do hvac whatever do grand opening soft opening those are milestones relationships means the ties how to tie activity a uh, after activity b and to explain this in the previous lectures you have four types of relationship like finish to start, start to start, start to finish, and finish to finish. Assign resources. You have three types of resources, and we're going to have a very good lectures about resources. Power, which are personnel, peoples, and you have the equipment, and you have the material like cement, concrete, whatever. These three types of resources we will assign to our project, and we will produce earned value to the metrics. It's going to be a complete course, guys. Stay tuned. Risk. How to identify potential risk in the project and how to assign that. We're going to have a separate course about risk using Pertimaster uh, software from identifying the risk, how to create risk registers, how to create Monte Carlo analysis. Schedule a baseline. When you develop your schedule, get it agreed, reviewed by the client, is, and have approved the budget, this is going to be your baseline. Baselines means what? Means you're going to do a, a regular update and you will measure your progress against the baseline. So, baselines mean the reference. Executions, like what you have in PMBP, you have many phases for the project, starting from initiations, and then you have planning, you have execution when you execute the work, and then you have monitoring and controlling. And when you finish the project, you have closing stage or phase. So total float is the amount of time activity can be delayed without delaying the project. And it is equal uh, the difference between finish, late finish minus early finish, or late start minus early start. So don't be confused. It is the difference between finish either late and early or start late and Early. Free float is the amount of time activity can be delayed without delaying the successor. Means early start of successor minus early finish of the predecessors. So this is the difference between these two activities. Total float affect the overall project completion, but free float affect the following activity. Okay. Lag. Lag an offset of an activity to its successor means waiting time. You do excavation, you are waiting for two or three days, and then you start uh, placing your formwork. This is called lag. Lead is the opposite of lag, is a negative lag. Means you do co uh, concurrency between two activities. Okay. Calendars, we have explained a calendar in, our, in one of our lectures, how to assign calendar to resource, to an activity. And this calendar, you can identify the working hours, national holidays, non-working days, and resource vacations. If you have important resource like an expert who is coming one month every year, you can create a specific calendar for this guy. I hope you like these lectures, familiar with all terminology. And let us, guys, start, continue our course, the advanced one. Stay tuned. See you guys in the next lecture.